perceive as perfect or see us as the couple that is always happy. Although it hasn't always been perfect, it has truly been the most incredible thing I have happened in my life. We were kids walking in Pinole, looking to hang out and share each other's company while eating grilled cheese to catching West Cat just so we can spend a few extra minutes with each other before class. We then felt something molding to what looked like a very serious relationship. We took something so delicate and special and made it strong and steady like a diamond. You became this jewel in my eyes that was so strong yet so delicate. You taught me how to grow up for all the right reasons and learn how to identify what is truly important in my life. We then hit a very low point in our lives that turned out to be the best thing that could happen to the both of us. It taught us the importance of a partner and the struggles that we would go through. Your absence at that time was the toughest thing I went through and made me realize that you were my foundation. Things started to look up and we became adults. Responsibilities and two doggies came our way. We had our first apartment and our first cars together. We became each other's partners and teammates and worked pretty well together. Now, my dear, I am ready to take this step with you and climb this mountain full of adventures and challenges. No matter what we go through, I will always be here. You never have to worry about whether I can handle something because your face and grace is my inspiration. I am yours, you are mine, and this is us. Soon to be Mr. and Mrs. Panetta, your husband, Brian Panetta. Brian, I can't believe the day has come for us to finally say I do. Our love has taught me that the best things in life truly come unexpected. Before anything, you're my confidant. I went to you for everything. You quickly become my best friend and find myself wanting to spend more time with you and wanting to talk to you more and more. I'm more surprised than anything, you were always willing. Feelings grew and I tried to ignore it because I didn't think you felt the same. Then one day, almost seven years ago, on May 19, 2011, you simply called me fake and I knew we were headed somewhere special. Since then, we've been growing up and it's been the best adventure. Thank you for choosing me to continue to grow with you. I cannot wait to say your last name the way you stole my heart. I love you, my handsome. I can't wait to see you at the altar.
Almost eight years ago, we met not knowing what God had in store for us. At the time, we both had broken foundations that we were looking to rebuild. We initially came together as friends and confidants and learned how to be there for each other before anything could be established. As we grew closer, we clearly knew we had something special and decided to pick up, pick it up, and run away with it. Your unselfishness, strength, and beauty shaped you in my mind and heart as a woman that I desire to spend the rest of my life with. You have truly become my best friend and the woman of my dreams. Take a break. <laughs> <laughs> this beautiful day of our all family and friends, I am more than ready to make this final commitment to you. I vow to be your strength. Breathe. I vow to be your strength on the days when giving up may seem like the only option. <clears throat> I vow to celebrate your triumphs and mourn your losses as if they were my own. I vow to let you have the, lo the title of being Louis and Kaya's favorite person. <laughs> <laughs> most importantly, I vow to be the most dependable person in your life, both as a husband and as your best friend. I love you, Allison, and let's get this beautiful journey started. Brian, the day has finally come for us to officially vow to spend the rest of our lives together. These past seven years of growing together has been my favorite story to tell. Although you've been my biggest headache... What? What? No! No way! You've also been my biggest savior. You were put into my life at the most perfect time. God saw me losing myself and knew you were just what I needed. Since you've been in my life, I've regained my confidence and learned to love myself again because you never fail to remind me of what I'm doing right in life and never what I'm doing wrong. Thank you for letting me cry on you, even if it's just because I'm the biggest baby when I'm sick. Thank you for making sure our fur babies give me space when you've noticed that I've had a bad day. Thank you for loving me on days that I may not love myself and reminding me of my worth. From this day on always, I promise to close every door and every cabinet behind you because you can never <laughs> seem to remember to do it yourself. I promise to find you the best instructional YouTube videos whenever you want to learn the latest dance craze before you show it off on the dance floor. You'll see them tonight. I promise to not only be on your side, but by your side, and to remain your best friend. To never give up on us or our love when the going gets tough. To never let you live, live, live this life feeling like you're alone. I promise to never start or end our days without saying I love you because I never want you to forget how much I cherish you. So Brian, let's keep this in future going. <laughs> Brian, because this ring has no end, Brian, because this ring has no end. or beginning. It signifies the continuation of true love. It signifies the continuation of true love. As I place it on your finger, I, on your finger, I, give, you I give you all that I am and ever hope to be. May these wedding rings be a reminder to each of you of the vows you've shared here today and a witness to all of your commitment in your marriage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a celebration. Let it also be a moment of dedication. The world does such a good job of reminding us of just how every marriage needs the love nurturing and support of family and friends. As Brian and Allison have promised themselves to one another, I invite everyone here to also make a promise to support the marriage in spirit and friendship. By helping them to keep the vows that they have just made, you honor them and help them to achieve the balance in their lives that they need to be both happy and to be successful. In return, you get to share. You get to share in their hopes, in their dreams, and in their future. Allison and Brian, before family and friends, oh, somebody's smiling already. You've promised to share your love on days that are summer sweet and full of a thousand dreams, and have promised to share your love on days when thunder and rain may come dashing against your hopes. Brian and Allison, the union of your hearts we recognize in marriage, joining you as husband and wife from this day forward. Brian, you've waited almost eight years from this moment so make it memorable. You may kiss your bride. You. 
Ladies and gentlemen, no longer two but one, Brian and Allison, Mr. and Mrs. Pineda. Like it, like it or not